it's G. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little different where we have someone joining us. Jimmy's our guest today. And we're going to be interviewing them while making pizza. So everybody give a round of applause, Jimmy. Bear with me, I'm not a pizza maker. I'm not a cook at all, so this is about to be very interesting. What do you do? So I run a YouTube channel called Divert Living, basically based off travel. So I did 52 countries in three years, kind of exploring cultures, food, local traditions, and kind of putting myself in the most uncomfortable situations you could possibly be in. So out of all the countries he's been to, he chose today to be at the pizzeria with us making pizza. There so we go. Have you ever made pizza before? I have not. Never? I try not to cook at all because okay. I'm very, very bad at it. Uh, have you been to Italy? No, I haven't. No. But I have friends from Italy. Okay. New York pizza, Italian pizza? Yeah, this is New York South Bend. They all know. And <laughs> pizza. But today we're going to show you how to make it while we interview you. So, first thing you're going to do, we're going to be making 12 inch pizzas. I want you to hold it up like this. Go all the way under the uh, dough. Try to get it all out. There you go. Once you have it out, you're better with me. You're good. You're good. It's take, take a little bit of time. And we're going to put it in the flour. So, go ahead. Put it right there, cover it all up. It's gonna get real messy, so I don't know why I chose to wear black, but it's all good. Now, you've been to Turkey. I have. Do you know Nusret? I do not. The guy who does this song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah the guy's of from course. Turkey. Okay. So you're gonna do that right on your pizza. There you go, yes. All right. I feel like I need a pair of glasses or like <laughs> salt. Yup. So now you're just gonna press it down. And as we press the dough, Jimmy, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. All right, what do you wanna know? Now, Jimmy, what is the last country you visited? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, my heart's devotion. Before that, it was Mexico. Okay. And then Brazil. Now tell me, Jimmy. What is your favorite country you've ever traveled? Ooh, this is a hard. Yeah. This hey, is. Look, you know what you're ooh, doing, I don't know. Right? I just, you I was just doing that. So everybody wants to know the favorite country. Yes. After going to all these countries, what's your favorite one? I like to base it off the people, the food, because I love food travel, and food is like a huge thing to me. If I can't eat or if I don't enjoy the food, it's like kind of puts that country a little bit lower on the list for me. True. It's all. I feel like food helps you travel. Oh yeah. So probably Indonesia or the Philippines. No way, really. Yeah. The Filipino people are just extremely extremely friendly and I love Lashon which is like you know pig roast basically uh, so yeah. I love Lashon, seasick, Filipino people like I broke down on the side of the road and they'll help you out they'll come out of their house Very and help you out people. they'll do anything to Open help arms. You. yeah amazing kind of like the Turkish people oh, yeah. the Turkish people are in so friendly in the middle of the night they'll be throwing stuff like try this try this bakery this pastry <laughs> i'm like it's like two o'clock in the morning i mean pastries are like yeah fresh fresh i'm like yeah. all right we know the turkish people have a few tarts <laughs> so jimmy okay. as you make the crust you want to kind of picture a finger here's our pizza very thin crust so you're going to kind of dip okay. it all the way around and as you dip it the crust jimmy i'm going to ask you another question all right i'm actually very curious you've traveled to so many countries yep. before you travel do you do a little bit of like research do you think about like, oh, what kind of language? Should I learn some of their language? Should I learn kind of their culture? What is respectable? What is not respectable? So it's gonna sound really bad. I don't really learn the, the language. <gasps> I try and learn like, hello, food, bathroom, and police. Because you never know what you're gonna, you never know when you're in a situation where you need to know like I need help, I need yeah. food, I need to use the bathroom. Ninety percent of it does come from research. Okay, so now we're gonna put the pizza in here. All right. You wanna have it over like this? All right. And you're just gonna throw it up over the table so it doesn't fall okay. to the ground. Catch it, and then you can do it you know, again if you want. Like that. You weren't over the table. Well, I'm a perfect. <laughs> yep. Throw it up. Oh, there you go. That was great. Come on, a little higher, come right. on. Hey, that was great, great job. You got one more throw in there, throw it over time. Oh my God. Because I'm a pusher. I push people. Oh, come on, what a job, look at that, <laughs> that was really good. There you go. Let me just give them a little hand over here. <laughs> Small person, all the countries are traveling, but pizza, we'll help them out, we'll help them out. Okay, so now, we're gonna take some sauce, pour it right in the middle. Hold it like a pencil. Okay. And then you push down the middle, and you little baby, there you go. So I have another question for you, Jim. Right. What inspired you to become a travel vlogger? What is a vlog? So it's a video vlog. Back in the day, vlogs were written vlogs, they were stories, uh -huh. on websites. 
So now they transfer it to vlogs, video vlogs. It could be about anything. It could be about anything. Whatever you have a story about. Yeah, whatever you have a story about. I never knew like really what a vlog was. I was filming a video here once and I was like, is this a vlog? Like just me showing you what's going on? I've watched one of your videos. You always say, this is a vlog. Is it a vlog? Yeah. You never know. Jimmy thinks these are vlogs. Looking good, Jimmy. Looking good. I'd probably put a little bit more sauce over there. All the way around. There you go. I see you're hiring, right? <laughs> Yes, we are hiring. So, Jimmy, I have another question for you. Scariest So, I never thing. answered the first question. Oh, that's true. You said, what got me into it? Okay, yeah, what got you into it? Kind of the culture shock, because I was in the military. I was going to ask you that. You were in the military. I mean, you can just look at my hair color. You can kind of see it. I was going to say. But, yeah, so how long were you in the military for? Um, four and a half years. So basically I got off the plane, my first duty station was in South Korea, and it was just like charades. Like I had no idea what they were saying, I was getting yelled at in a foreign language, I had never left the US, so I was basically freaking out because I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> at that point I just kind of got obsessed with it, like I loved it. I loved not knowing what was going on and trying to figure out how to maneuver like a normal life in a foreign place, and then I just sort of traveled. Yeah. I feel like it makes you more like open-minded. Yeah, but sure. especially coming from like small town America, right? Mm -hmm. like, there's a bigger world. Yeah, there's way too much to see to stay in one place. You were kind of like Jasmine and Aladdin, where she finally got on the carpet. And yeah, there you go. The whole now I can fly. There you go. I think that's really <laughs> beautiful. All right, go ahead and pick out your toppings. Right. You wanted chicken, right? You want me to have mine? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. It's your pizza, do it up. Now you said best country's food was what where you travel? I like the Philippines food, but I also love Asian food. Thai food is incredible. They have tons of different spices and stuff. Uh-huh. So I don't know. Never knew what went into making pizza. I always make pizzas the way that I would want to oh, have pizza. Exactly. And I want toppings in every bite, so I want to make this even better for you, just like that. This is the hardest part. You're gonna give the pizza the breath of life. So you're gonna hold the peel. Oh. We're gonna bring it to the oven. Middle or side? We'll put it right in the middle. You go. You're gonna blow under it. Bring it real close. There you go, there you go. Okay, be careful. Now, we'll bring it all the way to the back. Hey, nice job! There we go. Help her out a little bit. Make it more circular. And voila, there you go. Nice pizza yes. right there, great job. So now we're gonna walk over here. We're gonna take a seat and we're gonna sip some tea with G and G. Now we do have yogi tea. They have little inspirational messages. Mine says, may you create peaceful harmony as your life's purpose. That is very beautiful. What is yours? Life is best lived by focusing on your goals and dancing through all the other distractions. That is very true. That's now, perfect. Jimmy, tell me your goals. So my goals have changed recently because I almost got locked in Brazil. So I still want to travel and see things, but I missed nine years of like my family life and birthdays and everything. And like family was always super important to me. Mm -hmm. So now I've started a business here doing production like video and photo stuff and you know, build a business here while still giving myself freedom to travel and, and see other cultures and countries. You went to Turkey how long ago? Uh, I was in Turkey for 15 days and then Serbia was the rest. I was gone for 21 days, but I was there during the lockdown, like the beginning of January. Oh, about this yeah. area. Didn't you say, like, you said you're from Rochester and they knew who I was? Yeah. That yeah, so, so I actually, funny. I was commenting on, like, because I answer all the comments on my channel. Mm -hmm. I was commenting back and somebody's like, you should check out this guy. And he, like, drives around in an Uber. I was like, okay. So I looked him up and then I saw you. I was like, oh my God, I know her. I was like, how the hell did I not know she made vlogs? Yeah. It's just kind of a small world. It's like, even though we live in a small town, mm -hmm. we don't know everybody. Jimmy, when did you start coming to camps? We met, he just a customer. And I just knew yeah. you coming in. Yeah, it was like two months ago, three months ago. Yeah, it was pretty, yeah. fairly new. Yeah. And then you're just like, oh, I, I was know like, this I've girl. seen you before. She makes things at this store. You came in and you were like, oh my gosh, you, like, they talked yeah, about Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a small world. It is. All right, let's get a good look inside the oven of how that pizza looks. You know what's done when it's got that nice golden oh, it's tan, the nice it's got a little bowl. char. I'm not kidding, that's one of the best pizzas I've seen from a first time pizza maker. Like actually. So you just give me a pen and paper, I'll fill out the application and be all good. Legit? Do not be an amateur and cut this like to one and done. Okay. If you okay. want to go back and forth, you just close the door, yeah, just walk out of it. Can I take the pizza though? No. You need to cut it properly. Don't disrespect the pizza. See, I've always started in the middle though. No, no, no. You cut right down okay, the side. Okay, alright, alright. This actually came out really awesome. It was phenomenal. Legit, here, be proud of it. 
looks, it looks incredible. Get a nice close up of that. Ooh. We got a sausage on half, chicken on half, full onion za made by Jimmy himself of Diver Living. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Making Pizza with Jimmy. Jimmy. And stay tuned for more interviews like this. Bye, guys.